this is the umpteenth take of this video. It's going to suck. Please deal with it very nicely with me. Here we go. So well, let's get her done. Someone left a comment on one of my videos, but they put it on a channel that mirrored it so I didn't know about it. So the person on that channel forwarded it to me. So I'm doing this video on my channel because that's all I can do. And I'm going to read the comment the person left originally. I'm just going to do it verbatim, get her done. I am hopeful you will read the following web pages from scientific journals quoting top physicists worldwide on the subject of Fukushima. Now I'm going to do a, a, a tort right here. Web pages and scientific journals have to be about the subject by a person who's conversant in it and it has to mention what you are attempting to prove or at least be related data. Next. Waptic, you need to consider recanting your statement that quote, leading physicists don't say Fukushima is a worldwide disaster far worse than Chernobyl. No, I don't have to because you'd have to show me a majority of them disagreeing with that. It's actually the other way around. The majority of scientists who, sub who study the subject say that Fukushima is nowhere near as bad as, as Chernobyl. Mostly by accident. It's literally no fault of anybody who is an expert <coughs> in Japan that anything went right. It was literally blind luck that they didn't have any deaths from radiation initially and since then we can't even find one that we can really confirm. Not really. In spite of a news article that has a citation that doesn't actually go anywhere either. Not in citation. Also, uh, the scientists who worked at Chernobyl were also consulted about Fukushima and, and absolutely say that Fukushima is nowhere near as bad. Now, I'm going to list what your links are you left, because you left seven links, or seven postings in here. <coughs> you also said, thanks for bringing up my comment at 2 minutes and 51 seconds. I'm not sure it's your comment. I bring up everybody's comments in these videos, and a lot of people who are Fukushima fearmongers, or people who listen to them, repost exact quotes from the fearmongers without looking up whether or not they're correct. So I'll have to check that video to see if it's referenced to this. I enjoy YouTubers that read their comments. Okay. Not so much when they delete my comment before responding to it publicly. Okay, now I have to wonder if that really is the same thing. I will look and see if that comment was on my channel. If it was on the other person's channel who mirrored my video, I don't have any control over it. And I'm pretty sure he didn't delete your comment unless it was a screaming nastiness and, and or propaganda, but I don't know. Here are your links, but uh, I'm going to cover something here. You posted in Madame Curie and her professor Henry Berkwell. These names are used for measuring amounts of radiation. Uh, Curie had no idea how dangerous radiation was and was prone to carrying it in her lab pocket. You don't carry radiation in your pocket. You're talking about radium or radioactivity, radioactive materials. But okay. She eventually died from exposure. That's debatable. I will, of course, put below in the comment section, I mean, in the video here, what she actually died from. I'm going to read the assertions of another person who responded to your comment, and we'll see if those are accurate, too, because we can all be wrong about something. So here are your citations. <coughs> Physicist Maiku, Michu Kaku on Fukushima. And then it links to something that really is a reference to an Inquisitor website, a, a website called The Inquisitor, bringing up something from a long time ago, most likely. It may be more recent, but Miku Kaku is not qualified to discuss nuclear power. That's it. And unless he is conversant in it and did research in nuclear power plant safety and dealing with hardcore uh, disasters, he has no relevant experience. He would have to cite sources or give reasonable explanations why he's coming to a conclusion for you to consider it an expert opinion, however, is wrong. Also, <clears throat> um, I know for a fact, if it's one I think it is, and I haven't checked yet, um, Miku Kaku made a lot of comments in the early days of the Fukushima incident that were overtly, outright wrong. He didn't know anything any more than anybody else. Everybody was wrong initially. Uh, again, I'm going to repeat something that Fukushima fearmongers, and unfortunately people who view their stuff, don't like admitting. <clears throat> Everybody who died in the incident that day 
in subsequent days, died from the earthquake and tsunami, and there are no deaths directly or even indirectly att attributed to the nuclear plant. There just aren't. There's one claimed one, but it's claimed without a link that actually says it happened. It's a news story that doesn't have citation. <coughs> And it says, oh, just look it up on this webpage, and it's not there, and it never was. The website doesn't have that kind of announcement. And I found every announcement I could and translated it. So we literally have no deaths so far. Countering that are Fukushima fear mongers that get caught lying overtly about things and then deleting it sometime later. Uh, Beautiful Girl by Dana and Kevin Blanche are notorious for this. <coughs> Kevin Blanche got cancer from the joint compound he used for doing drywall, and Beautiful Girl by Dana won't admit that the assertion that yellow cake in a Dixie cup won't kill anybody in a room. Just don't inhale it. I mean, literally, these people say things that are simply not true, and easily confirmed as not true. None of you call them on this, but I'm not sure if you're actually an advocate of that. And that was on University of Chicago EDU blogs, Atomic Age sub-blog, 2017, under Lucian. Next, Forum on Physics and Society. Scientists from all the world visit Fukushima, and it's APS.org. Okay. And someone else obviously responded to you and evaluated this. Let's see what happened, but... <coughs> Your Lurika Alert, an AAAS scientific journal on how new text shows how bad Fukushima really is. Okay. And discovery of radiation, you're supposed to look it up on, uh, on Google. Now, your Google link, this is something I'm actually conversant in and have experience in, and it's actually part of my specialty that I do, which is computer security and, you know, privacy rules. Your link through Google to look up who discovered radiation, instead of the word radioactivity, which is a better term, includes client, MS, Android, America, Mobile, i got to wonder about these spelling errors here that I'm seeing. Source ID, Chrome Mobile, and a few other bits of data. But not enough data for me to track down which phone it is. Uh, make sure you sanitize links that you post. Make sure they're shortened. Make sure they contain only the information at bare minimum to go to the links. Just saying. And if you're on a cell phone, stop using a cell phone. Next. <coughs> Bulletin of Atomic Scientists at Bulletin.org 2014 Suzuki Fukushima Update. Suzuki's. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know which one that is. Now, here's the evaluation someone else did right below your comments. Miku Kaku never said Chernobyl was, was uh, excuse me, Fukushima was worse than Chernobyl. The assertion is, is that Fukushima is worse than Chernobyl. It's not. <coughs> and a journalist that was linked to doesn't have, a, uh, doesn't have comprehensible link English data there. Uh, Miku Kaku is a string theory physicist, not not appropriate uh, expert. He's not an expert in the subject. He really isn't. Nor am I. <clears throat> I cite my sources that support my, my assertions. I also cite the contradicting ones because people are shocked by that. I post in my links what people say proves me wrong, mostly because it does a damn good job showing that I've been proven right because of the following statement. This person checked most of your links and said, no physicist anywhere could be found at the link or found at the link saying anything about Chernobyl or mentioning Chernobyl or Fukushima or comparing the two or saying Fukushima is worse than Chernobyl for almost all of the links. <coughs> Next, last one. Uh, Madame Curie <coughs> died at 68 years of age of a plastic anemia originally attributed to the radiation exposure or radioactivity but at that age we now know that that's extremely common with old people in general. So, it may not have been radiation. I will, of course, do a video on these subjects if you like. <coughs> then the person says, Let me help you out here. Here's a real nuclear physicist who says something about Fukushima. Nuclear physicist, and preferably nuclear power expert. And then people immediately say, Oh, you're an expert in the field. That means you're, you're in on it. You're a power bot. Anybody who has relevant course experience, uh, uh, work experience, research experience on a subject that doesn't agree with you is a shill. They're paid off by the industry that you're talking about. Whether it be for vaccinations, cell phones, anybody who knows what they're talking about is in on it because they disagree with you. Now, I'm not saying that about the person posting this. I'm just saying that this is the standard modus operandi of people who want to debunk facts. 
they can't, so they just lie about them. But I will look into these, and if any of them show any value or merit, I will list them. Uh, I've been waiting for not a majority of scientists, but somebody competent in the area to say something that shows, actually, that Fukushima had more of a negative effect on this world than uh, Chernobyl. The problem with it is, I have relatives and friends, and I have colleagues, There were, I had colleagues at one time, uh, who were responsible for collecting a lot of data. There are people on YouTube who went to Fukushima and Chernobyl and compared them apples to apples because they were there X number of years after Chernobyl and could go in a circle around it and help measure it. Because, uh, I don't know if you know this, but <clears throat> some of those YouTubers are actually scientists who worked at Chernobyl and dealt with it and, are, and were alive at the time and posted videos showing that and then went to Fukushima immediately afterwards to see the worst case scenario, which is when you measure it right afterwards and one year later. Just measure it. What is the long-lasting effects? Where is the downwind of it? Where is the fallout? All of them universally agree that Fukushima is nowhere near as bad as Chernobyl. Period. Full stop. The next thing is everybody claiming it's worse goes into hyperbole, hyperbole mode, screaming that the entire Pacific Ocean is dead, and everybody on my west coast where I'm sitting is dead, and it has to be because yellow cake kills everybody in a room, even though it doesn't, and they argue with actual physicists and actual engineers who build and repair or tear apart nuclear power plants. I'm in a town that had a nuclear power plant that was decommissioned and removed. There are literally thousands of people in this town. I can just put an ad up, I did actually, asking, what is your opinion of Green Mile Island at one time? I'm, I'm sorry. Also, you do know Japan is where Hiroshima and Nagasaki are, right? We have an ass ton of data on this. Nothing is being hidden because you can't stop somebody from rolling down the road, parking for a few minutes, and doing a radiation reading by sticking the equipment in the base of the car. You can't stop stealth scientists. You can't stop citizen scientists from photographing crap. It, it, how are you going to hide this? The whole point is, if you could hide it, it didn't get out of the area. If you can't hide it, it's going to be findable out in the ocean and whatever. People went nuts trying to make sure that they were safe and found negative results. This isn't getting anywhere. Or if it got somewhere, it sank to the bottom of the ocean because it's heavier materials. Uh, there was a wave of the stuff that went over everywhere on the planet, just like Chernobyl did, including the United States for a couple of days. And then it was gone. It was out of the air and in the ground. Still dangerous, but it was incredibly thinned out. And over the ocean and in it, the ocean thinned it out. Chernobyl had a much larger amount of material released, and the rating it's given, even though it's the same rating as Fukushima, as the type of and danger level, this is a either-or thing, 1 to 10 scale, it's rated as being six times as bad. Which means they need to use a different scale, how much actual effect it has on the environment, or people, like animals and plants. You can go visit the area around Fukushima today with equipment and test it. The guy whose channel you commented on is actually runs another channel where he made an entire video series where he just went up and down the west coast to show whether there was radiation, why you can get a radiation reading when you want to, and you can't get it if you just generally check everywhere. You have to check everywhere, not just the places that give you the radiation reading you want to find. He was honest. None of the fear mongers are. And I hope you don't get in an argument with him because he has facts to back it up because he collected his own data. Did you? Uh, Thunderfoot was going to go around with a gamma ray spectrometer to look for specific isotope signatures on the west coast of the United States. I haven't checked yet. I don't think he did it. I don't think he was able to. But somebody got off their dead butt and tried to help you. And these other people <coughs> walk around saying, Ah, oh, they'll be calling you a rebel. Or, or making picture-in-picture -picture videos where they lie to you. And they're the ones you listen to because they say what you want to hear. And I want to point out something. Because of that link you left that tells me everything except your browser name or whatever... What you were looking at is what's called a search bubble, or ego bubble, as Google calls it. You have to make it to where it doesn't track you. Otherwise, it'll always show you what you want to see, because it's there to please you, not educate you. And that's one of the big problems now with the Internet. It's not supposed to challenge you. It's to placate you. Welcome to the Matrix. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck.